Representative Kutz. Morning, Secretary. Thank you for being here. Um, Secretary, by now you're likely aware that Change Healthcare announced last month that its systems were adversely affected by a security incident, and some of our managed care organizations in our Commonwealth have disconnected system access with Change Health Healthcare to protect client data. This data breach is ultimately going to disrupt the process of billing and claims for nursing homes and hospitals, and my concern is especially for nursing homes who on average have 30 days of financial reserves available. The disruptions in this claims process and reimbursement is going to significantly impact their cash flow and ability to meet payroll obligations. During her budget hearings both this week in the House and Senate, Secretary Arkush stated that the state government may need to step in and order advance payments to providers uh, so that they have the cash flow needed to sustain operations. So my question, Mr. Secretary, is whether uh, Secretary Akush and the governor have been in touch with you and your office to determine whether the Commonwealth has the resources it needs to issue advance payments to our human services providers. And I ask because my understanding is that by next Friday, many nursing homes are going to be in jeopardy of missing payroll. So is there an urgency within the administration to address this problem? Um, certainly, um, uh, an urgency to be prepared uh, is how I put it. Um, there's an, we have a lot of issues where we're at, um, the, um, uh, we're at the other end of what other people's issues, and it's everything from being prepared if there's going to be a federal government budget shutdown, um, which at least half of which we're not going to have to deal with for a little while. Um, and I, this is another urgent issue. So yes, uh, the short answer is yes, there are discussions between Secretary Kush, her staff, and my staff about what the needs could be. I think they're trying to gather information about um, from impacted agencies how that could affect um, their resources, what they might need, um, and then her ability to come to us. And we have a very good re working relationship with the Treasurer's Office to ensure that we can get funds out quickly, um, making sure we're doing any necessary justifications so that um, that office is also aware. Um, but um, I think we do. Um, a pretty good job of trying to be prepared generally for emergent issues. If, if you could elaborate, what what do you think? I mean, we have next Friday is kind of our our deadline. Is there a solution you think would happen? I saw a press release this morning from the insurance commissioner saying encouraging insurance providers to provide this uh, cash to nursing facilities. Is this is this the administration's stance? Um, I. I don't know, uh, to be honest, what if we have a preferred stance or preferred approach. I think there are different ways to look at it. Um, I think different pieces of the healthcare industry are impacted in different ways. Um, and again, you know, this is another one of those. It's a national issue and it's a, a system failure, which is um, has not the um, the company involved has not been as um, transparent as I think a lot of us would like about what's actually happening, what it means, um, uh, and what the impacts are. Uh, I know that um, the uh, agencies who have um, impacted uh, entities they work with are gathering as much information, trying to understand. Um, our goal is to make a decision, a recommendation, uh, and an action based on facts and need. Um, and I think we're there at the fact gathering. Um, and then uh, we'll make available whatever we can to ensure that um, we don't have failures in the system. I appreciate that, Secretary. Uh, as we've heard a lot about our aging, aging population today, um, this is something I think is going to continue to to be an issue with um, most facilities having that 30-day reserve cash flow uh, issue. I know in Central Cumberland County, um, we have so many retirement facilities um, between uh, our, our entire county is is flooded with them. So it's a it's a specific concern to me in, in the district I'm privileged to represent, uh, and appreciate your work on it. And uh, would ask that you keep the legislature updated as uh, you might hear a solution on that front.